What's up, vlog? I'm watching Survivor because I'm really into it. And I apply to be on Survivor. So if they accept me, which if you're watching Chef Probst, I would try so hard. I would go all in. I would probably cry multiple times just because that's what I do. And so then I'd be voted out because people would be like, she's got to go. The tears, the constant tears are too much. And I'd be voted out. So I'd probably be there probably about four days. Ideally, I'd like to stay longer. Ideally, I'd like to win. But in reality, well, I've applied, so... We'll see. And I'll show you the spotlight that's on my neighbor's house. Well, I don't even want to talk about the fighting with my neighbor's vlog, even though that vlog is very popular, but nobody really asked any questions, so I don't like to talk about it more. Perhaps they thought, well, I don't know what they thought or what you thought. Whatever you thought, you let me know. And if you have ideas, I'm super open to them. I'm a very open-minded person. And today is Christmas Eve. So I've opened a bottle of red wine, which is so exciting. I know. And I just remembered I did that. So I'm going to go get some red wine. Please come with me. If you're watching on Christmas Eve, I hope you're enjoying your Christmas Eve. One child is in bed. I'm waiting for the other one to come home with her father. Um, and then I'll, we'll put, I'll put her to bed. And then Santa can finish Santa's work. Ooh. I drink wine out of a coffee cup. The title of this vlog post shall be Wine Out of a Coffee Cup. Does anybody else do that? Why? I used to drink wine out of wine glasses, but I move my hands a lot when I talk and I would just break the glasses and I get intoxicated. So after breaking however many wine glasses, I just said, screw this and switched to coffee box. Excuse me. And I have yet to break a single coffee mug, knock on wood, so. That's why. So the point of this vlog is also to ask questions about, since I got that comment, what's the point of this? I figured I'd... Oh, I figured I would open it up and say... What would you like the point to be if you have, you know, if you have a vision, I'm interested. Ah. Oh, that would have been bad. I almost dropped my phone on my face. If you have a vision, describe it. Let's go down that road. What does that road look like? Merry Christmas. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun. Oh. Ooh, red wine. It is to ride one horse up inside. Big question number two is to shower tonight or tomorrow morning? Probably tonight. That way I can bounce up fresh. 
and ready to go. I'll be up before everybody else because I have to play my rap music at volume 2000 on my Bose speaker so that my neighbors can also hear it at 4 a.m. Well, that's just when I wake up sometimes because that's what I do until they put a privacy fence around their pool equipment, AC, and generator like all other people on earth do. <laughs> But they put it around two-thirds so that two-thirds of their equipment has a privacy fence and the one-third that faces my house does not because that's how they roll. <laughs> so that their fence goes and then stops and then goes again. And where it stops is where my house looks at. So I'm like, <coughs> people... It, as it's, I first wrote, I wrote a handwritten note and mailed it to them and it was like, oh, are you planning on putting up a fence or trees? Let me know your plan. You know, I live right here. We can work together. Yay. No response. Then I told you something or another happened. The man came over here. It was like, oh, yeah, so come <laughs> look. Well, the whole house is windows. Come, let's look. And he's like, oh, yeah, we're putting up a fence. We don't want to look at it either. And I was like, oh, my gosh. My heart, I fluttered. I, like, levitated. I was so happy because I don't know why. I'm just, I'm just obsessed because I love plants. I love nature. I love a vista. I love a view. I love being able to look out of something and lose myself. You know, your imagination can just go. There's no interruptions. I hate that. I hate interruptions. So, like, I was ecstatic when, they were putting up a, when they said they were putting up a fence. And then no fence comes and no fence comes and I get and I get their email and their wife says, um, that's not the plan. Like that my so was like something happened and she said, Oh, that her husband didn't lie, he just didn't know the plan. So their plan is to fence off all of their equipment except for the side that faces my house. Because that that's their plan. That because that's that's how they roll. So how I roll now is my hip hop music whenever I want to listen to it. Oh. And a spotlight out of my house that hopefully illuminates their children's rooms who now can grow up on gangster rap, which is actually, they're welcome. So, anyway, um, this is not the Christmas spirit. This is, this is the antithesis of the Christmas spirit. And I dropped it for a long time. I just, now that the leaves are falling out of the trees, so when I look out, the little smidgen of their equipment that was blocked by trees is now not. So it really upsets me. Obviously, it upsets me. That's why I'm doing this, because I'm, I'm incredibly upset. So all I'm doing is reciprocating the offense. I'm offended every day, every second of the daylight. So this is like... How much it bothers me. It bothers me more than I can even describe. Yeah. Well, obviously it does because this is going on. If it didn't bother me, it wouldn't bother me. Duh. Okay. I hope things turn to a more positive, just overall happiness and good cheer and merriment and appreciation and gratitude. 